up everybody it's touch by Troy and if we're gonna focus on brows and eyes then we need to start here so for me I have really scarce eyebrows my eyebrows don't naturally really have a shape so for me I start at the bottom and create an outline for the desired brow shape that I want and I go from the bottom all the way to the top and basically connected the tail in and fill in with my for this time I'm using NYX brow gel in espresso and it dries really really fast which as you can see as to why I'm trying to move very very fast um, I use a spoolie part of my eyebrow brush just to evenly like distribute the product and whatnot when we get to the front you're kind of gonna bring product from the back towards the front so you don't get those big like Nike check eyebrows because that's not fun um, and you really have to pay attention right there and the spoolie helps to even everything out you see I had to put my glasses on because doing this without glasses especially in a camera is not easy I'm taking uh, my LA pro girl concealer in fawn with just a flat um, concealer brush and outlining the bottom of my brow I'm doing a full face so it's more concealer that's used but after you put the concealer on let it dry down for a little bit what you're actually going to do is take a concealer brush and actually blend that downward into your eye now concealer helps a lot but sometimes it can get a little bit messy so that's why you can always go back with your um brow brush and your nyx gel or your anastasia beverly hill dip brow and go ahead and even that out and my focus for this makeup look was different from some of the others that I've done in the past. I just wanted it to be really, really bronze and just really, really gold. And hopefully with aspirations is we can get the heck outside because I'm stuck in the house. Um, I actually used the Crayon Case Watch Me Blush Palette for the whole entire I look just one um, and what I'm actually blending out is the shade Hot Cocoa. So here's the thing. It doesn't take a lot to actually blend everything out. Um, as long as you blend, that's what matters. So I'm just doing windshield wiper motions and circular motions, just blending it out to my desire and what I like. Some people don't blend it out as much. That is your choice. Um, but for me, I really like it to be blended out because the hot cocoa is really just a base for what I'm really about to put on, which is um, cappuccino, which is in the same palette. So right here, we're just continuing to blend over and over and over again. <laughs> and for me, the part that like really, really mattered was the shadow that I'm putting on right now, which like I said, is cappuccino from the Wash Me Blush palette. It always, product is important, but the way you apply it is even a thousand times more important, at least to me. Um, in the beginning, when you saw me putting on the eyeshadow, I did it in an upward motion rather than a downward motion because that's how you get the most pigment out of your brush. And my brush, I think I actually just used the L4 that I've had for a really long time. Um, and in the motion that I'm doing it, it's like a fake me out cut crease because it's not going to stay like that. I'm actually going to blend it out upward probably towards like my brow area because I want it all to be blended and I want it to be faded I don't want to cut crease if I want to cut crease then we'd be doing a whole lot with concealer and it's not what we're doing <laughs> so you know how I was really really hyped about blending this out because I don't like fake me out cut creases right okay so I need to tell y'all the brush because the brush changed my life so I'm gonna give it to you so it can change yours um <laughs> I'm actually blending cappuccino out with a mac 224 blending brush it has done me well through the years it's been one of my favorite brushes it's one of the brushes that I actually make sure I keep up with because I lose them and I end up buying a whole lot more um I'm blending cappuccino like I said near the top of my brow um just giving it a nice gradient effect rather than it just being like oh it's glitter on her eyes oh it's shimmer on her eyes because that's not what we're going for <laughs> So after you blend out um, cappuccino, it's not really a whole lot of work left to do. Um, the wig was really what I cared about more. The makeup was just supposed to set the, 
<laughs> service for the wig i actually ended up putting the shade old banana in my um inner corner and i'm doing a new complexion routine so that's why i didn't show you <laughs> it's not just because i wanted to skip that part i'm actually using a milani new shimmer 02 on my lips um i've fallen out of love with lipsticks i don't know when i'm gonna be back i'm gonna be honest um but after that that's how we get all these things to come together and get the look to go along with that really, really nice wig. <laughs> um, thank you all for watching and see you again soon.